Hi everybody, welcome to the basic walkthrough overview that's going to get you started with your Monday.com account. This wonder called Monday.com is going to help you meet your goals of team collaboration and communication in context. There's a lot of power to Monday.com and it can be used for just about anything. I will take you through the basics of Monday.com, but there's so much more to explore. So don't forget, this is just the beginning of your Monday.com journey. Let's dive right in. What you see here is a board, and this is where the magic happens. We have three types of boards. The first type is the main boards, and these are visible to anyone in your team. This is great because it lets you create the transparency you need to get everyone in your team on board. The second type of boards that we have is the shareable boards. These are great when you need to work with anyone from outside your team. In our case, we're about to save the world, so we might need to outsource the recruitment of our superheroes. But if you work with anybody really, clients, vendors, freelancers, and so on, just invite them as guests to your shareable boards. Guests are only able to see the boards they've been invited to see and nothing else. The third type of boards that we have is the private boards. These are great when you work with any type of confidential information, or even if you're working on a project but you're not ready to share it with the world quite yet. In our case, for example, I might not want everybody to know how much money we're paying each superhero to save the world. So I'm going to keep it in a private board that's private to me only, as well as anyone from my team who I choose to invite. But now let's dive into the board and see what it's all about. The first thing you want to keep in mind is that Monday.com is super customizable. You can make it into your own. You can build as many boards as you'd like for any type of project. Inside the board, we have the board title, and the board description. We also have the groups. These can represent weeks, months, clients, projects, whatever you need it to be. In our case, the group represents everything that my team and I need to be doing this week. I can also create a new group by just clicking right here, add group of pulses, and we're good to go. Now I can type next week. I can even choose the color and rearrange the order. The groups hold the pulses, which represent the tasks or projects that we need to complete. This week, in order to save the world, we're going to call Captain America, but we might also need to call Iron Man and maybe even Spider-Man. Next week, we'll need to reach out to uh, Wonder Woman and then maybe also Superman. And now for the real magic, the columns. First, Let's establish ownership over the different tasks. And for that, I'm going to create the person column. By the way, if you'd like to create any sort of column, all you have to do is to click right here. With the person column, I can assign different tasks to my team members. So first, let's move this one right here, and then we can start assigning. So maybe Matt needs to call Captain America, and we also want them to call Iron Man. Then Tan would call Spider-Man. I will reach out to Wonder Woman and just to Superman. By the way, if Matt can't call Iron Man this week and he needs to move it to next week, all he has to do is to simply drag and drop the pulse and everything is now in order. As soon as I assign my team members to the different pulses, the different tasks, they get notified about it in two different places. First, in the notification bell where you see everything that is most relevant to you. And second, to their email. Very easy. Now they know exactly what they need to be doing. The second type of column that we have is the status column. This column is very important as it allows me to know the progress of my tasks and projects. It is very easy to keep track of our progress as all we need to do is to click on any of these boxes and choose the right status label. So Tan is still working on calling Spider-Man. Matt is still working on calling Iron Man. I'm done with reaching out to Wonder Woman, and Jess is stuck with calling Superman. Now, we know exactly what's going on with each of our tasks under this project of saving planet Earth. But here's where it gets more interesting. I can actually use a status column for more purposes as well. For example, what if I'd like to know the priority of my different tasks? All I have to do is to add another status column. I can move it right here. Then I can change the name to priority. and then also add my own labels. 
So instead of stuck working on it and done, I'm going to add high, medium, and low. And again, this can be anything you need it to be. Now I can start assigning the priorities. So this can be high, medium, high, low, and so on. I can then even sort the board by priority to know exactly what I need to be doing first. Next, we have the date column. If you need to keep track of any sort of date, a start date, a due date, any date really, this is the column you need. All you need to do is click any of these boxes, choose the date, and that's it. You can then also sync your dates with your calendar, either Google Calendar or any other internet-based calendar. It's very easy. Now, let me just get this out of our way. And by the way, if you delete anything, it will be kept in your recycle bin for 30 days. So don't worry, you can always go back and restore it. Now, we have the timeline. This will make your time much more visual. With the timeline, you can track lengthier projects and tasks. You can simply choose the start date of a project, the end date, and you can also just click any of these bars to open the timeline view. You can then drag and drop the bar to make it larger, shorter, anything you need to keep track of your projects. You can also view the timeline by status, by person. This way, you can know exactly who's doing what and when. It allows you to keep track of your team's bandwidth and then you can reassign the tasks or make sure your team members are helping each other out. You can also view the timeline by days, weeks, or months, whatever works best for you. Now let's move on to a new column, the numbers column. This is great when you need to keep track of any sort of number. So whether it's costs, headcount, inventory, time estimation, anything really, any sort of number, this is the column for you. In this case, let's say we need to keep track of the costs of the project. So I'm going to change the name of the column to costs and then start assigning the actual costs of each task. Easy as that. Now, the really cool thing is that if I click right here, I can choose the unit, whether it's dollars, euros, pounds, and so on. I can even choose the function. So if I don't want it to show the sum, it can be anything else. Then, if I want to see the total number of the entire board and not just the column itself, I can see it right here. Very easy and very helpful when you need to keep track of any sort of number. Now let's get this out of our way. Another column that we have is the tags column. This is great when you need to group different tasks under different keywords. Let's say you work on projects that span many departments, or maybe you have multiple people working on projects for the same clients. Then you can group these pulses under keywords of your choice. We also have our new column center. By clicking right here, you will be taken to a whole new world of opportunities. Here you can find plenty of new columns, which will help you make sure you manage your projects and tasks the best way possible. Feel free to scroll through all of these options and choose the ones which would work best for you. All right, now let's talk about a few other options that we have here inside our board. First, let's say I need to see everything that Matt from my team needs to be doing. Just Matt, nobody else. All I need to do is click right here and choose Matt's image. Now, only the pulses that are assigned to Matt will show up on my screen. I can also search for Matt's name and then the same thing will happen. But here's where it gets even better. If I click right here, I'll be able to filter the board by multiple metrics. So for example, if I need to know what Matt is doing this week, and that is marked done, I can mark all of those and only the relevant pulses will show up on my screen. Another great feature that we have is the activity log. By clicking right here, you're able to know exactly who from your team has made which change and when. It is very visual and easy to keep track of. Next, we have the three line menu, or the way we like to call it, the hamburger menu. And you can find it right here. This will give you more options with your boards. For example, you can set up the board permissions. You can also duplicate your board or use it as a template.
You can change the type of the board, export it to Excel, delete the board, or even archive it. Very easy. Another amazing feature that we have is the board views. These allow you to create different views for your boards, whether it's files, maps, timeline, Kanban, calendar, and even charts. It makes it super easy for you to keep track of all your projects and know exactly what's going on. But if you guys remember, I told you earlier that Monday.com will help you reach the goal of communication in context. So I better talk about this right now. Let's say I need to know if Matt needs any help with calling Iron Man. All I need to do is to click right here on the pulse and the update section will open up. Then I can write an update to Matt. I can at mention Matt and say, hey, do you need any help? I can then of course add files from my computer, Google Drive, or Dropbox. And my personal favorite, GIFs. Let's find something really funny for Matt. As soon as I send my update, Matt is getting notified to his bill and email. I can then know if Matt saw my update, I can like any update, and of course, reply to it. Another part of the update section is the info boxes. This is like a back drawer. If you need to store any notes or files, you can add them right here to get a list of all the notes and files. Very easy to access and very easy to use. But wait, I can see I just got a notification. I can see that Matt thumbed up my update and also replied to it. And if I click right here, I can see his reply. Now, I know that Matt needs my help. So I'm gonna reach out to him as soon as possible. So guys, this is the board. But now let's talk about one more super powerful feature that we have right here. And this is the search everything. With search everything, you can search for literally anything across all your boards. And it's very easy. First, you can simply click right here on the search bar. Search for your hot tags or any of these quick searches which we picked for you. My personal favorite is this one. You can also save your searches and go back to any of your recent searches. But let's say I need to see everything that's assigned to me across all my boards. All I need to do is to type my name, click enter, and that's it. Now all the pulses that are assigned to me across all my boards show up on the screen. But it gets even better. What if I need to know everything that I'm currently working on? All I need to do is to add working on it to my name. Now, all the pulses I'm assigned to across all the boards, which also have the status working on it attached, will show up on the screen. I can also filter the results by date, and it's very easy. Let's say I need to know everything that is assigned to me on a given date range. All I need to do is click right here. I can then drag and drop the bar, make it larger, shorter, and I'll see only the most relevant results. Guys, this is it. These are the basics of Monday.com. But don't forget, there's so much more you can do with it. We've only scratched the surface. So if you have any other questions, please do not hesitate to reach out to our customer success team 24-7, 365. We're always happy to help. I really hope to see you soon on Monday.com.